Lovely. This is uh, Professor Jilal Yanan, Chief of a Critical Care Department at Raymond Poincaré Hospitals, University of Versailles in Paris, France. I'm the corresponding author for the review on perioperative fluid management for major elective surgery published by the British Journal of Surgery. There are roughly 200 million patients that each year undergo a surgical procedure. Past decades, there were major advances in surgical techniques and anesthesia that have contributed to substantial drop in post-op mobility and mortality. However, recent data, for example, in Europe, found that the crude mortality after surgery remains roughly about 4% and also is fairly variable between countries. There is still a major need for continuous improvement in the perioperative management. And in particular, free therapy is an essential part of a perioperative management. This narrative review highlighted a few take-home messages for people who take care of surgical patients. First, in the preoperative phase, moderate certainty of evidence from meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials promotes the intake of clear fluid up to two hours before surgery and avoiding a mechanical bowel preparation. During the perioperative phase, both too few or too much of fluid is bad. Indeed, moderate certainty of evidence in abdominal, thoracic, and vascular surgery found lower rates of complication with a zero balance fluid therapy compared to a strategy of fluid restriction or fluid overloading. Likewise, moderate certainty of evidence favors correct goal-directed therapy that fine-tunes fluids and vasopressor administration based on specific hemodynamic target. There is still much controversy about which type of fluid should be used, crystalloids or colloids. So, in the surgical population in the perioperative phase, in practice, moderate certainty of evidence suggests the use of balanced versus unbalanced solutions, whether crystalloids or colloids, and also favors not using starches solution. So, in sum, when managing a surgical patient, one should target a zero free balance, one should use goal-directed therapy, and one should prefer using balanced solution. Thank you.